thank you welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new and in today's video as you can tell by the title I'm going to just be creating this like pretty editorial purple look that was inspired by Tammy Clark here on YouTube I feel like I look crazy every time I come out here with my scarf but like we know the end result will be cute so right so I think for <laughs> I think to start off this look I have two Jackie Anna palettes and I can't find one I think I want to go into my Jackiana palette. I kind of want to... Oh, I don't know. If I didn't say this in the intro, and if I did, I'm going to say it again. This look is inspired by Tammy Clark, so I was watching her video, and she did, like, this really pretty editorial. It was, like, a purple, um, just, like, a nice cut cream. I don't know how to explain it, but it was really cute, and I liked it, and I wanted to try it out because I wanted to try out something different. And I didn't want to do the purple, but I'm looking in this... Jackie Ina, Anastasia, Anastasia Beverly Hills palette, and Big Wig is calling my name. <sighs> so I'm going to take Big Wig on this e.l.f. concealer brush. And I'm just going to create a line. I'm not going straight into my crease. I'm trying my best to go over it so that you always kind of see like the shape that I'm creating. Okay, so I'm going to fix this eye. I'm going to take my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and I just, I want to make it thin, thinner and also want to make like that cut crease just higher. So I'm going to try and... Clean it up with the concealer to see what that does. Uh, this eye is still a bit higher. Okay. I'm kind of seeing what I'm doing. I'm just going to take this brush and blend in the concealer. I want to go into the Daisy Marquez palette and I'm going to take the shade Lucid, which is just this like nice, pretty, light purple. And I'm going to just apply that into the lid area of my eye. These colors, I mean, of course, they're two different shades of purple, but they go really nice together. I don't know. I'm kind of liking this. I love this mirror. I can literally just pick it up from the palette and just have it right here. This was such a smart idea for the palette. Huh. This is so cool. I'm really loving this so far. This is so cool. I love this. I'm going to create more of like a line onto my lid. You know, emphasizing the purple on the outside. I think that I kind of have an idea what I may want to do even for my inner corner, like make it like a nice like bright hot pink. I think it's the color Supreme in this palette in the Anastasia Beverly Hills Jackiana one. I think I want to do that. I don't know. But we're going to move on to face. So I've already moisturized and I used my Cetaphil Daily Moisturizer. I always use this girl. I love it. It has SPF and it really just moisturizes my skin. It doesn't make me too oily. For primer, I'm going to be using the Say Bella Foundation Primer. I mean, I'm only using it because it's the only one I have right now, but it's been good. Yeah, I think it goes nicely into my skin. Like, I feel like it gives me moisture, but it also blurs my skin, so I'm not minding that at all. I'm going to take this small little like blender brush and I just I'm gonna blend out the purple because I don't want it to look too harsh 
but I do want the emphasis to be there, but I want it to be like a clean look. Okay. So now we're going to go into some foundation. So I'm going to take my combo that I've been loving lately, which is my Juvia's Place. I am Magic Foundation in shade 435, Punta Canada, Punta Canna, speak. And my CoverGirl True Blend foundation in shade L10. Um, I only mix these because Punta Canna is too deep of a shade for me now. But I like the combination of these um it's not bad at all so i just take a flat foundation brush and mix it together to create my desired shade and then also apply and i also like when i'm doing certain eyeshadow looks i can just take the edge of the foundation brush as i'm applying it to my skin and just help wing out whatever I wanted and it just really I think helps with the eyes as well but now I'm gonna take the Sonia Kashuk it's like this flat brush and I like to use this for my foundation I take the excess from my hand and then I apply it. I lift my scarf just a tad. Oh, I'm one of my specialists, but as I was doing that, I was applying my concealer. I used my same concealer, which is the um, CoverGirl True Blend Concealer in the shade Buff Beige. I love this. Oh, so good. I also did use that, well... I use that to prime my eyes after doing my um, eyebrows. And then, yeah, it's a great, it's just a really, I feel like it's a dupe for the Tarte Shape Tape. Like, correct me if you guys think I'm wrong, but I think it's a good dupe for the Tarte Shape Tape as well as the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define. So I think that if you want to find a cheaper alternative, these could be your girls. Sometimes after using this, my skin feels so matte that I feel like I don't need to set, but if I don't set at least a little bit like right underneath my eye, I just crease. It's so annoying. I think I want to smoke out my lower lash line using the shade Big Wig from the Jackiana palette, so I'm going to try that out. Um... I'm going to use that same brush, the e.l.f. concealer brush. I'm just gonna... I'm only gonna do it halfway because that shade is only halfway on my lid. So... Like that? You know, we're back, we're back, we're back. I'm adding some highlight. I added my lip. I don't know why I did my lip before my highlight, but okay. This has like some glitter that I put on my face before on it. So I kind of like that I'm like glittery, you know, glitter queen. Okay. I'm liking the way that this is looking. I think this look is so cute and fun. Also very attainable. I'm going to take my Fenty Beauty Mascara and just apply that to my lashes. I'm going to add a little bit more of my lip liner, which is from e.l.f. Look how small it's gotten, and I have not had any luck finding it. So when she goes out, she goes out. And I'm sad because it's my favorite, like e.l.f. Restock. It's like their best lip liner. Okay, I'm gonna spray my face with some cucumber water. I'm gonna unravel this hair and then I'll come back to you. So that is it for this look, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to like this video, comment down below, and subscribe to my channel. Like I said earlier, this look was inspired by Tammy Clark. Love her. I'm sure you guys know of her, but if not, go check her out. She did an amazing job on this look, and I wanted to see if she was being truthful when she said it was easy, and it really was. I'm not the best at doing, you know, lines and stuff, but here we are, looking cute.
So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to check her out and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!